after his second of the game. Votes from a yard out. Well, Dick, this score is 30 to 3. And with the field position and the turnovers, the Eagles had in the first half, it could have literally been 42, 47 to 3. I mean, that's how badly the Raiders have been beaten today. Rosex trying for point. 31-3. Cunningham said, don't score them all today. <laughs> Package up a couple of those scores for Green. We're talking about the rebel with a cause with the Bears in their Super Bowl year. Remember the headbands yes. and Roselle even? He took it right to the top. Absolutely. He, he took it to Ditka. He took it to Roselle. He's, uh, he doesn't, well, he says, what do I need to watch film for? That's not what you see in a game. I get an idea. I know what the game plan is. They say he has a photographic mind that he just remembers everything he sees. But he does, while everyone else is watching film of games at home to study opponents, he goes to the movie house because he loves the cinema. And he likes Jack Nicholson. That figures that. Yes. Th those two could probably <laughs> entertain each other for months. So he had a chance to play with Jack Nicholson, and Nicholson had to cancel one time. The one round of golf he was so looking forward to, to get to know Jack Nicholson personally. There's Rosex. Key college game on NBC Saturday next, and it'll pit two of the game's top coaches. Lou Holtz, he needs a win against Joe Paterno, the Nittany Lions, and the Fighting Irish next Saturday at 1 o'clock. Notre Dame with one loss to Stanford. Am I correct? And a tie with Michigan. I, I'm sorry, Dick. Am I correct? This is the last time in a regular season Penn State and Notre Dame will meet. Penn well, State's in the near future. The Big Ten. Yeah, right, in the near future. So this uh, will uh, call up a lot of memories. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sure. sure. Almost a uh, look on Lot's face is, you know, how, how can this happen? How can we be so ineffective? Underneath of Andrew Glover. He earns a tough five yards. John Booty with a tackle. And uh, Schrader going in a no huddle offense with a 5.30 to go and looking at least for something uh, cosmetic. Eagles will be 6 and 3, but still trail Dallas by two full games. The Cowboys winning big today. Minnesota top of Central winning easily today. We'll see them next week against Houston. New Orleans winning big, so pressure on San Francisco for a victory to hold a, a share of the Western lead. Miami winning big, so Buffalo, as they uh, host the Steelers, needs a win there to stay even with the Dolphins. Uh, second half of our doubleheader carries a lot of important uh, implications, and of course all the other scores, and Bob and the crew back in New York will keep you abreast of all the highlights and scores, so stay with us. Simmons actually has the ball, and it's Simmons that took it away from McElroy at the last minute. I mean, it's it's 31 to three. Reggie White is still coming on the pass rush. Right side of the screen goes around McElroy, through him. That's the ball out of the hand of Jay Schrader. And there's 5:02 to go in the game. 31 to three. No, you're right. Clyde Simmons, McElroy missed it. Clyde Simmons right on that football. Boy. Five turnovers today by the Raiders. Both teams treated that fumble like the ball was contaminated. <laughs> we check the other scores, and the Rich getting richer today in the NFL. Miami has made it official, a shutout of the Colts, getting revenge from the Colts win two weeks ago down in South Florida. That's the big surprise of the day. Good, Ravy. Did you see Nolan Harrison get hit by Herschel Walker? 
He got another shot right on that glass jaw. I'm look at it. Look at it. He's where am I? Uh, this is a good game to forget. If you're going to get knocked out of a game, this is one that you don't want to get. <laughs> there, trouble. see, you yeah. always come up with something positive. Absolutely. I admire that in you. Watch this. 74. Kiss. I'm out of here. Yes, yeah, just put me in with the uniforms, cleats, and shoulder pads. I've forgotten this weekend. Get me back to the left coast. <laughs> the left coast. <laughs> Sixty-five thousand three eighty-eight partisan Eagle fans, and this was an important win for this franchise. They won those first four and were so successful on Monday night in their fourth straight win against the Cowboys. Super Bowl talk was uh, free around the city of Brotherly Love. And they lose three out of four, and they change quarterbacks. And after today, everything will seem uh, very rosy. Beach. Tight end who played at Washington State. His daddy uh, still the pharmacist there in Pullman, Washington. Glad to be a part of a team like this, too. Well, this, this kid has bounced around a lot. Was at Indianapolis and lost every week for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. Ten went, years. Went to the Jets. Uh, yeah. Plan B, and they released him. And now he's with uh, certainly a team that's going to be in the playoffs. And and a lot of people here in Philadelphia, and rightly so, I think that this is a Super Bowl contending team. He's one guy that doesn't miss Keith Jackson. Yes. That opened up the opportunity for him. Man hit by his own man as he tried to throw the ball. And boy, you don't expect a blind side there. Herschel Walker on a miscommunication. And, and Walker smiling because... McMahon may have swallowed his, uh, the stuff he chews. <laughs> Dick described this one. That's the hardest hit he's had all day. And it's his old guy. He leaps off the field. Randall Cunningham uh, saying, no, nah, no, nah, you're not going to make me put on the helmet now. <laughs> he's warming up. Look at it. I, I've got to feel just judging McMahon trying to wipe away a sneer that the, the when they put out the NFL injury report, questionable swallowed and cut. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the, the one thing I like about McMahon when you talk to him, if you don't stop him, he'll tell you Ditka stories until all your time is gone. He loves talking about Mike. Now I got a smile on his face. Uh, I imagine he might say something to Herschel when he gets to the say, say, Herschel, I know you're a friend of Randall Cunningham, but come on, that right out in the open like that, isn't that a bit obvious? There's Herschel. Oh, if you only could have a microphone yes. right now. We're reading lips. He told us about Dick, he'd say, Dick could send in the play, and he said, fellas, don't even look at the sidelines, I'm changing the play. And he said, before we broke, yeah, got the snap, and Dick knew we were in the wrong formation, you could hear him swearing from the sidelines. Even, even in the Metrodome, where it gets so nuts, you can still hear him. Fields his way on fourth down inside the 10, but did not make the first down, I don't believe. I know you're waiting for this, and Bob, I know you're really what, waiting what, for this. What? What? Tonight, a special two-hour all-new Secret Service, starting at 7, 6 Central, based actually on an actual case, the plot to kill the president. Uh, apparently crashing a jet airplane into the White House was the scheme. Then the network television premiere of the box office hit the hard way. Stars Michael J. Fox, James Woods team up in an action thriller tonight on NBC. Kind of like Enberg and Trumpy in this action thriller from uh, <laughs> the Philadelphia. <hard> <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. So let's ask Rich, Richie Cunningham. Do, do we agree your starting quarterback next week is Randall Cunningham? No question oh, whatsoever. Think, you know, they're, they're, in many ways it was, you know, we make too much out of the whole quarterback thing. And hey, what's wrong with the coach saying you're, you're a star but you're not playing very well? I'll just give you a weekend. Reggie White meets Marcus Allen. And you can't tell White that they're ahead 31 to 3, and there's only four minutes to go. He's still doing what he enjoys best. Uh, this is this is almost criminal. I mean, the offense today.